that oh, sounds, that's depressing. Like that. So, singularity topic. Singularity topic. <laughs> yeah. Something out right now, let's go into it. Even though it's kind of related, but let's yeah. do something happy. And more well, happy the singularity than... topic I'd like to talk about is, uh, this one's for my week, is uh, there was this recent TED talk by a guy named Clay Shirky, and uh, he's talking about cognitive surplus. Now, the basic idea behind cognitive surplus is that instead of, say, just sitting down and watching TV and just passively consuming, that now what we're doing in our spare time is actually interacting with the machine and giving back. Say, like, Wikipedia is the greatest example of it. That uh, we've got extra thinking ability and uh, where you put it into creation. And just how that's going to actually uh, change over the coming few years. Uh, he had a great idea that, that uh, over the, at the moment, 10, for the amount of TV we're consuming uh, mm. around the world, 10 Wikipedias could be created every year from that. And that's everything, not just wow. one Wikipedia a year, I, like just one year worth of Wikipedia, that's the entire Wikipedia in every language. Yeah. 10 of them could be created each year for the amount of time people actually read. So we've only just started to harvest this, to actually start to use all of the cognitive surplus. Well, I guess the internet first, the reason it's taken off so quickly is because of user-generated stuff. Yeah. Like the social web is all about, you know, Ooh. Encouraging people to share to like yeah and you were saying before like Twitter is a it's kind of just refining it to make it the most simplest thing you can yeah. possibly do to share like well that's know. what made us has made Twitter and Facebook so great that well, I think Facebook more so is that it's actually gotten people online contributing like think of all of the people we know around that so very few actually contribute to other sites apart from Facebook but so many people contribute to Facebook it's ridiculous that's so I thought that's that's why the blogging revolution took off. Remember yeah. when blogs were really huge and that was yeah. massive? Because Blogger made it really simple, and some other sites like LiveJournal and all those made it really simple to publish your own content. Yeah, that's right. And now social networks are making it even more simpler, and now Twitter's doing the same thing, and now it's just, just, just getting everyone right there, just making it as easy as possible to contribute yeah. to the machine, to give your input to the machine. I mean, that's going to be, as uh, I think the singularity going further and further is just as making it as easy as possible to, for everything yeah. you're doing at every time, at every point, to be fed into the machine. And when I say the machine, I mean the internet. I mean the collective, overarching machine. Really. Well, think, thinking of it as a, a the whole memes and teams thing, right. could it actually be just wanting us to... It, the whole system at the moment is just getting us to share more. Really? Yeah. What's our like, think, think processing? Of it, yeah, think of it like that, the whole idea of like, you know, we're not in control. It's the teams and memes that are in control. Yeah. You remember that talk? Yeah, that? Susan Blackmore. Yeah. So it could be that the whole internet's actually reshaping itself to be more efficient for us to want to share for it. Yeah. Well, yes. as, as you were saying before, I think it's um, it comes down to processing power. The that, I mean, human computation. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're computing so many things that by actually, us actually putting in stuff, we're actually putting our cognitive ability into yeah. the machine, which is great. And I mean, at the moment, our cognitive ability is really being not used that much. I mean, it's only it's like... wasted, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's used like saying modern day economics and all that and like when we pay for things but when we're consuming stuff we should be thinking non-stop it should be great whereas the internet that thinking of that as a machine it really wants to extract all this intrinsic intrinsic knowledge and processing power in our brains yeah it wants to get all of that yeah. out of there and into and, and saved yeah that's why I love the idea of um, like there's so many um, oh, fine. talking about AI agents and AGI agents right. like it'd be cool to have an avatar of yourself because even for simple situations like say you leave a company, there is so much intrinsic knowledge that you have for that particular job yeah, yeah, that's right. lost when you leave. And yeah. the same for like when people die. This, this is why I'd love there, there to be some kind of initiative where it tries to extract as much knowledge, like in a fun and friendly and you know yeah. informal fashion, extract as much knowledge from the seniors who are about to die because they have so much knowledge in their brains that when they die, that's gone. Yeah. Whereas if you put it on the internet, that's there for that's everyone. That's the first steps really of uploading yourself to it, hey? Yeah. It's great. And then, yeah, the human computation thing, there's the uh, Louis von Ahn or whatever doing things like uh, recapture. Yeah. He, his, his method is basically trying to use games to extract yeah. processing power. Well, so that's where I think it's going as well, is it's games. Very, very simple stage, but... Like, well, one great thing yeah. that this guy was talking about was like World of Warcraft, and I mean, so many people look down and people doing World of Warcraft say, my God, why are you being an elf for so long? <laughs> I mean, it is <laughs> funny, but it's still, they're, at least they're doing something. I mean, is that much better than sitting in front of your TV and watching eight seasons of Scrubs? Yeah. I mean, really. <laughs> and so, so, at least you're contributing and learning some stuff there. So how do you think it's going to actually extract more knowledge from... Like, how, how are we actually going to be... Like, ideally, it would be if the machine was, you know, conscious, it would just send out the information that it needs processed to the brains that are best at processing mm. it. I think that already and kind of is happening back. right now, but, I mean, by the very fact that we choose what content to look at, it's not mm. the same way as, like, TV station where you have five stations to pick what you're actually looking at. At the moment, we've got 
pretty much the whole web. I mean, sure, we act in little closed ecosystems within the web, but we actually have places where we find the in, uh, information that we want to talk about, like the very fact that we're talking about this now. Yeah. We've, well, the computer has sort of chosen as well us to actually process that because yeah. we're this type of person we're, we're that is interested yeah. in it. Yeah, it helps that personality that dictates yeah. it. So it's not really the computer <laughs> deciding it, it's really us deciding it for this group of people, maybe. A little bit. I'm not sure. But it depends which way you think about it. It's the whole guy, the idea of like, you know, when when millions of people go Google who Google yeah, who's who, Google, so who's yeah. searching who, it's the yeah. same thing, it goes back and forth. It's great. It's a bit like, you know, we, not, we have no interest in, you know, shoes, so any information we put back on shoes would yeah, be... Yeah, it really doesn't work. I mean, it would be about useful to that particular... that YouTube clip on shoes, which is very funny. Oh my God, shares. Shares. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. We cover all that? Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Good little brief thing. I think. Okay. I'll oh, go back to the stories. Yeah. We should do a cut or something like in these hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the intro. Bruce has seen it before. It was very cute. Singing? I wasn't singing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I'll do mine. Then you can do yours. Uh, yeah, you got cats. Okay. That's a funny last one. Hey, um, there's this uh, German satellite called Tandem X which has just referred, returned its first images. Um, what they're doing is taking precise 3D mapping of the Earth's surfaces down to apparently like a, a precision of two meters. Um, so what it's actually doing is just sending down uh, radio waves and bouncing it back up, but measuring the elevation of every single surface oh, yeah. to two meters, like a diameter of, I'm guessing a box radius, whatever, yeah. of two meters. So it's incredibly, incredibly accurate. Um, I hope Google, like, gets this, a hold of this data, or someone does. Because <laughs> it's just going to, again... Oh my god, We, we yeah. seem to love this whole idea of maps and real-time maps. Yeah, it's it just is. seeing all the Earth in one thing. Well, it's so much fun, like, playing with um, the iPad and stuff, and actually just messing around, <laughs> and seeing the Earth in that was... Maybe it's our, like, our, our world domination. Oh, well, that's it, we're tendency making them an eye tendency, so. <laughs> Yeah, that was Very pretty cool, because, cool, um, yeah, so you, you'll have accurate sort of resolutions, I guess, like, up-down size of mountains and buildings and trees. Like, yeah. even down to trees, you're about to tell, you know, this tree is this tall, this... Yeah. It's even right. shrubberies. Shrubbery. Yeah, yeah. shrubberies. Yeah. If you ever want to find a shrubbery, you can just search for it there. Yeah. Find me anything within the elevation of, like, zero to two meters. That's great. They're actually doing, like, the proper full-on 3D stuff, and it'll be soon, like, you know, the, the virtual world will be the real world. You can imagine, like, Second Life, but with the real Earth. Uh, kind of cool. yeah. You could just pick up trains and throw them at people. <laughs> very loud, very long one. So. Yeah. Cats! But the cats! Well, Do this is pretty cats. cool. This has been talked about all over the web and stuff. That it's 